let's get this show on the road wherever you are in the world good morning good afternoon good evening good night and welcome to bradford city chickens on the loose podcast live on x youtube facebook and other social sites it's salford versus bradford preview it's six o'clock you know what time it is it's chicken on the loose time and today we are talking about the post-match training the pre-match salford the latest bradford city news the weather forecast for the bradford city game score predictions and what's on your plate and I shall be joined by Miss Diane, Chris and Lee. Hopefully all three of you can hear me. Yep, yeah, can do. Yep, yeah, I can hear you. Lee? Loud and proud. Yeah, okay. Right, let's, so let's get this draw on the road, shall we? Uh, so we, obviously we didn't play Barrow on Tuesday due to a complete absolute washout again, typically. But I'll get on to that soon. Uh, so, what's your thoughts on the post-match Gillingham game who we played the other Saturday? And start off Diana and work away across. Oh, start off with me. Um, it was a good game. At least we won. Even though we were only by a goal, at least we won. That's the main important thing. And luckily having Sam in goal when he tipped the... He saved us. It was Sam that saved us on Saturday as well. There you go. That's my thoughts. Chris? Yeah, basically went down there. Um, I thought we played very well. Um, Sam basically saved a brilliant save. Uh, we had some great players on as well. And uh, the goal were excellent. Which I missed, actually. <laughs> I just went into the back to go to the toilet and then all of a sudden ground her up. And I'm thinking, he's done it again. <laughs> but <laughs> it was just one of those. It was, it was it was a good game. And you could tell that the team put their all into it. And I'm so glad he started with Pointon and Kavanagh as well. Yeah. He always missed goals, Chris, every time you go to the toilet or something happens, you always miss a cracker of a goal. Uh Lee, what about yourself? Thoughts on the Gillingham game? I just say uh, we're mission accomplished when we went down there. I think people were expecting us to implode a little bit. We didn't. We stayed strong. A couple of great saves from Sam and a great clearance off the line from Moigi Goiki as well. So, yeah. Yeah. He played well, didn't he? All of them played Good. well. Alladay, no give him a new contract. He were a fantastic goal from him. Team played well. I still think there's going to be massive changes in the summer. But we're going to go now... Obviously, the Barrow game, I know it did not happen, uh, but where was you when the game got called off? And just start off with Diane and work away across, really. I were at work looking at me and phone all the time. We really I shouldn't do, but yeah, I heard that. But yeah, I were at work. But I wasn't going to go anywhere, so it wasn't didn't really affect me. Chris? I won't go into the game, but I will link it up on the iFollow. So basically, I paid that and... Um, I've got it for when we play them next. Yeah. I was gutted as well, actually, because I'd been looking forward to the game. And, uh, you know, when we got told, no, it's not on, I basically left work, got home, and I'm there, oh, come on, come on. No. And it just put me on a downer for the rest of the night. What about yourself, Lee? Whereabouts were you? I was at home, when the game got it got called off, and like Chris, I was gutted. I really... Wanted that game played because I'm I, I like points in bag. It's all right having games in hand, but points in bag they're in the bag. Do you know what I mean? There's yeah. a chance that something can go wrong when you've got to play for points that's on offer. Doesn't always work out that way, does it? So no, I were gutted that we didn't play it. But okay. So I had uh, should we say quite a bit of an incident on Tuesday. So, first of all, uh, I found out the game got called off. I was at work. I was doing refreshing because I was looking forward to it. My bag was packed and everything. And I'm going to go to the game after the uh, go to the game after work. And typically got told, I think about 10 past 11, obviously looking through Twitter and stuff and found out the game got called off. And then on top of that, someone decided to crash into the back of my car. So oh that's the difference. Goodness. That's yeah. a difference. Yeah, I'm all right. I've backed me a little that, bit. But that way you had to have a scan? That's not good, that, mate. No, that was somebody else, mate. That was just my dodgy knee. Oh, dodgy knee. I've got two. <laughs> but, 
it's it's the reinsurance company and yeah. I'll talk about it at some point when it's all sorted. But yeah. bit of a shocking day, really, Tuesday. But moving on swiftly to another All I can say, Johnny, is you can get a new car but you can't get a new body. Yeah. Very yeah. true. Right. So the fun part what everybody loves. So the League Two round up forty four. Salford vs Bradford City, 3 o'clock kickoff, 13th of April, 2024, at 3 o'clock at the Pen Palencia Stadium. The referee is Jacob Mills. And when PC decides to catch up with it, he has had five EFL trophy appearances, dished out 22 yellow cards, one second yellow, no reds, one penalty. In the EFL League One, he's dished out five, he's had five appearances, 20 yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds. And one penalty. In League Two, he's had eight, eight appearances, 32 yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds, two penalties. FA Cup, he's had two appearances, four yellow cards, no second yellows, no reds, and no penalties. Altogether, he's had 20 appearances, he's had 78 yellow cards, no second yellows, one red, and four penalties. And then just going into the stats, PS High Grace, everyone say hello. Bubbles for Georgia. Your sister's on again. Oh, she's on. Right, so Bradford City have had... Uh, don't worry, I got distracted. Uh, Salford have won five. We've drawn two. And Bradford City have won three. Uh, going back to 2019, Bradford City drew one all. In 7th of March 2020, Bradford City lost 2-0. 21st of November 2020, Bradford lost 3-0 against Salford. 27th of April 2021, Bradford lost 1-0. 11th of September, Bradford City lost 1-0. 15th of January 2022, Bradford City won 2-1. 15th of October 2022, Bradford City won 1-0. 22nd of November 2020, Bradford lost 1-0. 1st of January 2023, Bradford City won 3-2. 23rd of January, we drew 1-1. Uh, Bradford are currently 14th in the league, 42 uh, they played 42 games, minus goal difference of minus 47 and 57 points. Salford are down 20th with 43 games played, minus 16, 47. Bradford City's top goal scorer is Andy Cook, who has scored 15 goals. Salford's top goal scorer is Smith, who scored 23 goals. Smith has had three assists, Andy Cook's had five. Smith's had 43 Games played, Andy Cook has played 37. Salford are ranked 11th, goal scored per match, 1.4 goals. They haven't kept a clean sheet in 16 matches. Have lost all three matches, so they'll probably win us tomorrow. Bradford City ranked 22nd in goals scored per match, 1.2 goals. Bradford have scored four goals in their last five matches. Andy Cook has the most shots, uh, shots on target per match. Bradford City at 1.3. And then just quickly going over to Mr. S where is it? Simon Parker at the TNA. He has done a Salford vs. Bradford City lineup. I oh, know it's uh, Nathan Atkinson who's done it today because I think Parker's on holiday. So Salford's team this is everyone's second favourite part, me pronouncing names badly. So they've got Canis in goal, Cutis Till. Mapa, Ingham, McLean, Watson, Lund, Chester, John, McCarty, Henry, Substitute, Smith, Mon Montre, Lumber, Namai, Gabbott, Ingham, Torre, uh, Terence. Hidden score, score is Matt Smith, 24, league position 20th. Last four games, AFC Wimbledon, they lost 1 0. They lost against Walsall. They lost against Sutton and they won at Notts County. Team News, former City midfielder Elliot Watt is suspended after his late red card in a fiery game at AFC Wimbledon last week in the defence, as in defender Theo Vassell. Yeah, it all kicked off after the game. If anyone's seen it on social media, the referee just went on a card spree and just oh, sent off after the squad. Uh, Bradford City, Sam Walker, Oki Oki, Platt, Kelly, Halliday, Smallwood, Richardson, Poynton, Walker, Carf, and Cook. We've substitute Chapman, Wright, Gilead, Adoa, McDonald, Tomkinson, Doyle. Leading top goal scorer is Andy Cook, 17 goals. League position 13. After, oh, uh, we've gone up one place. Woohoo! 
after Mark Owen was deducted three points yesterday over a wage issue. Get Cash it. Barman, Get Gillian it. won up mill. Grimsby, we drew 1-1. One, one. Tramia won 2-0. One, and Harrogate lost 3-0. Team News, boss, Graham Alexander says, everyone except Jake Young, Sam Stubbs and Alex Patterson are in condition, condition to play the later to despite running it returning to training as unlikely to risk again in the side this season. Referee Jacob M uh, Miles is from Sussex, only becomes the EFL referee head of this season, just yet to take charge of City game before this one. He did, however, oversee goalless draw at Barrow in October. Match odds, Salford 75, City 17 and 10, draw 23 to 10. Last time these sides met, Salford took a point from Valley Parade back in January with uh, Brad Halliday quickly counselling out Ryan Watson's early opener for the visitors. So hopefully now we'll go to Diane and just basically we'll digest all that information. I can have a quick breather. Oh, goodness. Hey, breathe, breathe, Johnny, breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. At least Elliot was suspended because I, I, when I saw that red card, he deserved it, and they both deserved a match. So he shouldn't go have a go at referees. Hopefully, we can carry on the winning ways again. Um, Salford to twentieth out the league. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully we should do, but you never know. If we keep with the same squad, at least Gilead's back. We've got McDonald back. Hopefully. <clears throat> It just depends what's going to go on. Like I say, if we keep the keep the same squad that we got last week, just carry on the momentum. With having the break midweek, might have helped him out again. So there you go. A referee uh, goal in his first season, and he's, Chris, he's never really done us. Yeah, I'm a I'm a bit like that myself. It's it's a case of luck. It's an absolute. Brilliant piece of news that Elliot Watts not playing for him. Um, I reckon we're going to do well. I reckon that same team that's going to play like it did last week. And I think this week, because they've not played that midweek game, they are going to be uh, quite well up for this because for what players and Alexander have said on that their X through the week, up to today... Talking about season ticket sales and blah, 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 blah. We appear to be well and truly up for these next four games. So let's see it on the pitch tomorrow. That's all I can say on that. Yeah. Uh, Ian? Oh, sorry, Lee. Ian? Has somebody come in? I agree with Chris. I agree <laughs> no, with Lee. Diane. It, it's just a case of it's going to be a tough game. So the the... Pretty similar to us out of this season in that they're going to be scrapping for points and wanting to set out a positive sort of stall as well. So they'll see us as a chance to nick a few points maybe. So we'll just have to keep this forward momentum going and hopefully we can come away with the points. I'll tell you what, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, predict score-wise later on. But right now, I, I think we've got a lot of positive going on. They look up for any game at the minute. They look up for any game. From what they're saying, like Chris said, they just want it, don't they now? Shame they didn't want it five or six weeks ago. I, I don't know what's happened. Exactly. I, I don't know. Yep. Maybe they're just playing for contracts. I don't know. Well, I think as um, director of football coming in's out. I think it has. I think you're right. Um, we've not heard a lot from Sparks since he came in, have we? No, I'm going to move. He's gone back down on his head and getting not commercial stuff sorted out, and he's gone. You take the whole of football because I know a note about it. Thank you very much. I'm going to go on to that in a bit, Lee, because yeah. I think I'm, I've got a thought on what's going to happen on on uh, Mr. Sparks. Yeah. Uh, is anyone a lot else? Of people have the same thought, mate. Has anyone got, any, anyone, anyone got anything else they want to say about the Salford game? Just glad it's not going to be whimpering out and, you know, just let's get on with next season. Let's keep this going and build some momentum for next season. It's really all we can yeah. expect, I think. Okay. Uh, Diane, have you got anything else you want to say, love? No, not really, but just hope, like I say, the team will carry on what they did last time and everything. So, but you never know. 
you never know what we do, but hopefully it'll be a good game tomorrow. And hopefully Chris, you don't have to wear a coat. Chris, yourself? Any more you on the sofa again? Well, I'd just like to congratulate Diane on getting rid of a cold and a cough and that. You sound a lot better today, love. Thank you. I've still got the cough, but I am feeling better, thanks. I've still Excellent. got a sofa, oh, are we mine? Oh, hey, Ope. Nice. So what's I'm back, still being together. I'm back playing me, me records and music, so yeah. So Diane, what I know Stan's not here, uh so I can't I can't remember his line. Uh what do you think the score prediction will be for tomorrow? The score, do you know? I have been thinking about this all day and I have no idea. Hopefully will win. So I'm gonna say two one. Oh, I find each other score again. You've nicked my score yet again. <laughs> well, we should go you first. Come on then. Go on then. What's yours? Two one. To city. Goal scorers. Goal scorer. I'm gonna say. I think Cook's gonna get one, and I also think Kavanaugh's gonna get one. You've nicked me, players. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Late. I, I think it is going to be 2 0, and I think Cook will score, and I think Kavanaugh will score too. Uh, I'm hoping George for a sneaky third for Mr. Poynton if he's playing. Okay. Uh, I think this. Oh, uh, Crypto thinks it's going to be 3 1. Uh, I don't know if I think, I think it means 3 1 City. Uh, so, I've sent an invite. To crypto because I want to get his thoughts on something. But while I've sneaked in and because uh, we, we we're flying through this like uh, a Bradford City attack, uh, so I just want to get some more people in. So Georgia, what's your thoughts on the Gillingham game and Salford game? Uh, I thought Gillingham were brilliant. Uh, little lad were up dancing about. It was lovely until again. If anybody heard it, I am sorry, but the bubble parade happened again. Oh, dear. <laughs> so I got called bubbles again. I said, they're getting louder and louder. So, okay. I'm sorry for that. so good job you don't support West Ham, isn't it? I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> and where, whereabouts was you when you found out about the Barrow game getting called off? Getting ready for the Barrow game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I've got the little. I got little legs up because he was he was going with me. So I got my brother up, got myself up. We're gonna get dressed, and when I, the notifications come through, it's a pitch inspection. I went, oh, here we go. And I sat there because I was on the phone to a friend, and I went, it's getting called off this. Yeah. So I went back to bed. They're a bit worried about um, playing us, aren't they? Yeah, I'm gonna say a third time lucky at a jam up. So, what's your thoughts on the Salford game? Uh, judge, uh, judge it. Oh, that obviously how they've been playing recently. Hopefully it carries on. Um, how much so? Even little lads looking forward to it tomorrow now. And the only thing that he's not enjoying is the fact that he's going to have to be stood up because <laughs> I couldn't get seated. Oh, okay. And crypto, I see you're here. So your thoughts on the Janum game? Whereabouts were you at for the Barrow game when he got called off and the Salford game? So the Barrow game, I was getting ready to watch it on on the, obviously the box on on TV and stuff, and then it got called off. So I ended up having to do loads of ironing. Um, the Gillingham game, I correctly, pre uh, correctly predicted the score of one nil. I said it was going to be tight because Gillingham were playing for their lives to try and you know get into playoffs. Um, and tomorrow, I think it's going to be three one City. Okay, and who do you think is going to score for City? Uh, Kavanagh, Cook, and maybe Halliday. And while I've got you here, Mister Crypto, uh, do you know, I know you. I, I know you're probably sitting in the northwest corner. I don't know if you're a member of the Northwest Collective, but there was a, a tweet got sent out by Northwest Collective. I'm just trying to. Find it now. I don't know if it's been deleted, but it was basically telling fans uh, 
I think it's there's 280 seats available in B block for Thursday seat swap so far. This is without people who may move out tomorrow's early swap. The drum and flag will be set in the middle seat of the circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Picture is from there. And then I think they tweeted out basically telling people to bugger off. I don't know if I've read that properly. <laughs> I uh, just want to get your thoughts on it, really. No, well, I'm making uh, friends and influencing people, is it? <laughs> I know, yeah. I don't, don't agree with that tweet, if that's what it said. I, I haven't actually seen the tweet myself personally, not not read that myself. But um, we're all now in B block. Um, we initially moved over to A block, and then a load of seats became available, and we are now in block B, row N, which is basically just below where the drum's going to be located, and there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 of us from our group there, um, and then obviously, you know, all the rest of whoever else comes from Northwest Corner, but our little group, there's going to be 13 of us, and we're going to be just below where the drum is, all together on the same row, so that's good for us. Singing your hearts out for the lads, eh? <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Nice one. So, Absolutely. thank you. I was going to say thank you for Bub I'm going to just read the name of Bubbles. It's easy to remember. She's just uh, sent me the message on Facebook. So, the Northwest Collective, this tweet is word for word. Uh, we've seen the stadium plan today, and there's plenty of seats in the circled area. Anyone who wants to stay in Block B and doesn't want to be involved with a drum, we suggest moving further down the stand. So I know that got tweeted out and that got absolutely shed load of uh, stuff on on Facebook. So I'm gonna before we move on, uh just gonna ask you about so Diane, have you renewed? Two seconds. Yeah, I renewed, but I'm gonna be at main stand. Okay. Uh crypto you, do you say you moved to the, the D wing or whatever it is? D block. Is he still there? I think so. Crypto, hello? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. I'm just checking now on my thing. We are in row N, N for November, block B, which is just below where the drum is. Okay. Uh, George, I to, can I just, oh, just sorry, yeah. just before you move on? I've, yeah. I've seen some um, tweets and some things on Facebook, which I've been shared in now a group chat. Uh, I can't remember this lady's name, but she was basically making out, uh, she said it in her own words, that basically um, we don't need a drum for atmosphere. Um, most of the people who from the northwest corner are racists. And I was absolutely shocked by what she had to say. Yeah, I saw that the other day. If, I'll see if I can find it actually on, on here. I know. Uh, I'm going to put myself on, on on mute and I'm just going to have a look through our group chat and see if I can find a name because someone screenshotted it and I'll come back yeah, to it. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we don't want a name. name I won't yeah, name just, her, but I'll read yeah. out what, 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 what we put, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Give me a Georgia Love? I've gone from <laughs> Northwest Corner to Block B, but I'm sat on row D, seat 16, 17, and my sister's on 18. Okay. Uh, Chris, yourself? I renewed on date were sort of brought out and I'm back in me my own seat in Bantams Bar lower tier cop and Chris I've just been on mate is there another Chris <laughs> sorry all uh, these people that keep coming in and where's he seeing uh, no it, <laughs> oh sorry we've got uh, the beep here are you there Labib? Yeah, Labib. Right. yeah yourself sir? yes all good all good uh in answer to your question yes i've renewed um so I'm, i've kept my seat in the midland road so i'll just watch all the shenanigans that'll carry on from from the safety of um the other kind of old gimmers in the midland road <laughs> so while i've got you here Labib, i'm just gonna ask you a couple more questions if that's all right uh sure. so yeah. gillingham game what are your thoughts on the gillingham game um, well, I didn't. I didn't go um, because um, it, I, after that Mansfield game, I just decided that it was just too much of a trek up to make make the trip up from Nottingham for, for and we weren't paying particularly well. Um, and I think you know, um, obviously, good to win, wasn't it? 
get get a home win. Um, I'm, I, to be honest, I'm trying to. I can't remember what the game was like. Um, I can't remember much about it. I watched it online. Um, it was God. Honestly, it's just completely I mind know. from blank. God, like the screamer, he scored a good goal. Who, who was it? Was God? Brad Halliday. Oh, it was, yeah, yeah, edge of the box. Did yeah, you get cut in off his right corner. foot and whacked it with left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, good, I mean, good finish. Um, but, that's it. I, I don't. I, no, no feelings either way. I mean, the season's gone, and I, I know there's one or two people suggesting we've got an outside chance of making the playoffs, but that's, that's just not going to happen. Nah, I just, um, yeah. So um, it's, it's a, it's to be to be blunt, you know, it's a bit of a meaningless game, um, and as are the rest of the games that are coming up. Having said that, I am going to Salford tomorrow. Um, okay. But that's really to see my son because he lives there and we're going to the game together. Uh, but you know, this is it's a dead rubber, isn't it? Really, I don't know. I I think we do need to get as many points as we can so we can take a run into next season. I, I don't. I really don't see that working. Um, I if I'm honest, I, I never have done. Yeah. Um, I think once the season's gone. We're, we're likely to have a change of personnel. Oh, for sure. Um, you know, yeah. Uh, so, I was obviously, Alexander's got the whole of the summer. The squad, squad's the still too big. Or, or, squad's still too big anyway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, I think even when we have the change over in staff, it's going to take, I think, a few games for them to settle in and, and to start playing properly. So, whatever momentum we do build, it's going to be lost over the summer. So, personally, as I said, I, I think it's a bit of a dead rubber. The only kind of uh, positive note might be that I believe the higher up the league table you finish, you get a little bit more money. So, it's just a financial incentive to finish as high as we can, you know, just to get a few more pounds coming in. That's about it, really. So, Crypto, have you managed to... Find it, or do you want me to move yeah. on from that? No, no, no. I found it. I found it. Just bear one second. Okay. One second. So if you can do, try no, not I want, to. I yeah, I name want it. So, but, so it was. This was the first of three tweets. So I'll just read the first tweet out because that's more relevant. Really, it says this person has put my engagement with the Bradford City Football Club Northwest Corner Group who think it's okay for 80 or so lads to push long-term fans out of their seats. Yes, I am unhappy that the club is moving this sexist and racist small group amongst our families. That's absolutely disgusting. I can't yeah, that's with just you with that is disgusting. She's painting, all, she's painting all the same people with the same brush. Yeah, that's, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable at all. Yeah, they'll probably be... Because I can tell you, I, I can tell you right now, none of our group who, who sing and get, you know, and, and, you know, we start off just singing and sometimes the drum, you know, joins in or the drum will start and then we'll sing along with the drum. Our group, where we are, the, the 13, 14, maybe 15, it depends on how many is. We are certainly not any of that sexist or racist. We don't we don't sing any racist chants or anything like that. Because at the end of the day, even though we're fans, we're still ambassadors for the club. And we don't want to bring the clubs, you know, we're not like Leeds United fans. Do you know what I mean? Let's be honest. I mean, Leeds United same fans, fight. so it's they sing are absolutely mental. Oh, and same fight to yeah. your own fans on the buses on the way home. Yeah, that's... How are they, though? You know I mean? It's just... So uh, for me personally, I, I, I was I was gobsmacked when I read that. I like, and when it got shared in you know in our group thing, I was like, "What?" I was fuming. Yeah. So moving on uh, quickly uh, to change the subject a little bit. So today has been confirmed the EFL and basically Sky Sports have signed a new deal for the UK. If you're listening in the UK, the changes will be now. Basically, I follow has basically retired in the UK, and you'll have to either get Sky Sports or Now TV from next season to watch games, including uh, the Carabao Cup, EFL Trophy, the playoffs. So the Mickey Mouse Trophy, everyone's favourite competition, 
uh, will be on Sky Sports and Now TV. And how it works in the UK is like if you do watch championship games at home on a Tuesday or a Wednesday night, it will be behind the red button. Probably possibly a game on Sky Football or something, and then the rest will be on the red button. So what's people's thoughts on the new deal with Sky? Uh, start off with Diane and go across. Um, it sounds a good idea, but are they going to be showing the league two matches via the red button as well on the midweek? That's yes, that's what we'll be doing. Uh, red button. That. So if you can't bother going to Nottingham Forest away, shall we say, if they stay up, it's going behind the red button. You push the red button at quarter to eight or whatever time kickoff is, and you hopefully should see League Two football. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, I know about I know about that because my dad goes, "How do I get? How do I press red button?" Yeah, I get it off my dad all the time when he's wanting to watch a Leeds match, even though he hates Leeds mm. or doesn't support any football team actually. But yeah, I hope you'll get I've a shower and a bath dad. afterwards after coming out. Of the world. What? All that swear in there. Oh. I said the hair's yeah, yeah. The L word, the L word. It's a Bradford. <laughs> it's a Bradford fan. But well, the what about yourself? Fan. Thank goodness. What about yourself, Labib? So uh, obviously it's going to be on the red button, and I know you live in Nottingham. Yeah, I'll, 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 I mean, I've been tweeting about this today. I'm I'm not a big fan of Sky Sports as a platform, and in terms of the influence that they have over the game. So for me, I, I don't particularly see it as a positive move. Um, I, I lived for a while abroad, um, and I used to use iFollow quite a lot, uh, you know, a few years ago. So I, I found it a really good service, uh, if I'm honest. It, it does have its glitches every now and again. Yeah, of course it does. Uh, but in sense of what it could do for a, particularly an exile fan, I thought it was excellent. I'm, I'm just going to have to kind of reserve judgment on it, really, um, until I kind of see it in action. Um, I have renewed my season ticket, as I mentioned earlier, but I'm not sure how many, if I'm going to get up to every single game. Um, yeah. So, you know, some of it might have to, I might have to watch online. So, you know, I'll have to see how it goes. But as I said, more questions than answers. Will club, club each club get, you know, the same kind of income that it was possible to get from iFollow? Will clubs get a fair share of broadcasting rights? Um, how heavily influenced will the um, kickoff scheduling become? So, as I said, more more questions really than than answers at the moment. Yeah, uh, I just, crypto. I was going to say exactly the same as Labay, but <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, just like everyone else, do you know what I mean? We'll just have to see what happens. And I mean, I'm, you know, I, I don't really want to say it's on there, but you know, I, I don't pay for IFL. That's all I'll say. Okay, okay yeah, I get you where you're coming from. So just having a look at deep, deep in the Q&A session, uh, under the new deal, the following will be available to view 10 weekend games across three divisions, all opening and final day fixtures in the Sky EFL, all midweek lead fixtures, all bank holiday fixtures, including Easter, Boxing Day, and New Year's Day, all fixtures played in League 1 and League 2 during the International League, and all playoff, Carabao Cup, and EFL trophy games will be played. So if I'm reading, I might be reading in between the lines here, but where it says all opening games, so surely, due to the blackout, what we've got, the, is it Article 64 or 65, whatever it's called, they can't play a game between three and something, can't they? Is it three and five? So it wouldn't surprise me if our opening game is going to be like at one o'clock or something like that on the first day of the season. Uh, where are we? George, love, what's your thoughts on that? I, I, I'm just going to see how it pans out because, again, we, I, when I'm at home and I've got my sister and my brother around, we just pay to watch it and I follow anyway. But we don't use Sky Sports. We never have. So it's like now my mum's going to have to put, like, I've got to pay my mum extra now towards getting Sky Sports. And it's like, do I really, really want to do that? It's just putting more stress on other people and get, like, money and stuff like that. Yeah, it's like companies like Sky and stuff and TNT and other sports, they just want to get money from punters, really, don't they? 
Well, uh, it feels like. Yeah. But all Sky sometimes do deals. It's like I've had Now TV for a while. And it's pretty good that now TV. I've got to say, it's you get deals. I think get like Sky or something for like I don't know thirty quid a month or something like that. Might be cheaper. Uh, Chris, yourself? Yeah, well, I'm I'm with Sky now, and basically, if they take if they're going to take over from I follow, how are they going to be able to like I follow? You could just pay your ten pound, and you could view it from a three o'clock kickoff. For away games, are Sky going to do that just based on 10 quid? Because I bet they're not. Uh, I know what Sky charge for stuff. And if you've been with them like I've been with them, that I'm a VIP with them, they just put costs up, 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 and more up. So it could be very expensive this through a season. So by all accounts, in the UK, you would not be able to get iFollow, but abroad he can so there'll probably be a way to do it uh, but I'm not going to get into that as much uh, a VPN probably yeah possibly but with the sky taking over and stuff like that there won't be a 3 o'clock kickoff. the only way you'll be able to do it is obviously if you like live in Spain I, I follow but still existing internationally so you can still get it abroad and stuff like that like People listening to in Australia and Brazil or wherever you can watch it over there. Uh, Lee, I know you you love your eye follow. Uh, so, what's your thoughts on okay. Sky Sports? I saw a thing today that said that Sky are going to cover over a thousand games every weekend. And I'm not quite sure. It sounds a lot, does that? I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it. They haven't released any details. It's ambiguous as ever when they release these things because they want people to sign up immediately and give us your money. So, like everybody else, just going to have to wait and see how it's actually going to work in practice because until season starts, we don't know, do we? We just don't know anything because yeah. they're not going to tell us. Just yeah. wait to sign up and pay your money. Right, moving on, Diane and Rest, has anybody got anything they want to chat about, speak about, rant about or vent about? Diane? Uh, no, not really, apart from like I say, I've got Sky Sports and I'm a VA, VIP customer as well, so I'll, I'd love to know they're going to do all the um, football stuff, so yeah, that that's all mine that I can rant about. Okay, uh, Labib? <laughs> Um, I, yeah. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. so I, was, I was a bit late kind of jumping onto this space. So I, I yeah, obviously no don't worry. know what you talk, spoke about earlier. But, yeah, look, looking forward to tomorrow. As I said, I know what I said earlier. It's not, there's not riding on the game, but, you know, it's a good day out, isn't it? So if anyone's going, I'll see you up there tomorrow. Are you standing or are you sitting tomorrow, Labib? Standing, always standing. I'll, I'll, I'll see you at the game tomorrow if it's yes, all no. weather. But... Yeah. Uh, got got, got on to everyone's uh, third feature in a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm standing up, so hopefully the game will go on and I'll see you there. Uh, Crypto? Do you want to chat about, vent about, speak about? Oh. No, no, I'm I'm good. All good from my side. Okay, Bubbles? No, I'm not just say uh, no. Chris? No, for once I'm quite happy. You feeling right? Well, you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm happy on the Bradford City front at this moment in time, and um, <laughs> it's just rosy at the moment, and I, I'm so looking forward to the game tomorrow. So this waterlogged pitch, like, go away, don't <laughs> come back. We've had enough. And Labib? Yeah, I just. I saw a tweet earlier. Um, do you know? Does anybody know if we've actually managed to sell out our allocation for tomorrow? Apparently not. I saw on a tweet. I I saw yesterday that they had a hundred tickets left, but I don't know if we've sold them all now. Okay, and I think Lee? I've seen. I think I've seen one sold out today. Very oh, good. I know, I know they're not on sale online anymore, but obviously it's the day before a game, so you know they might have taken them off uh, web sales and just had them at the ticket office. So I wasn't sure whether we'd sold them or not. 
Yeah. No, I'm just having a look now on Twitter and see if there's salt, but there's no because they normally put up, don't they? To say that you could pick them up at Salford or wherever. Lee, have you got anything you want to chat about, vent about, speak uh, about? No, I just just want to win as many points and just get as much positive um, vibes going into the team. It doesn't work. We're going up. I don't know. We've no idea. We we don't really know. Will we get enough points? Will things go against us? Well, with Bradford City, of course it will. So I just want I just want this season done, dusted, and let's see what happens. So, Georgia, aka Bubbles, we've had your sister chirp up, uh, and I'll start off with Diane. She's actually asked her a question on TikTok. So, if you're listening on, uh, if you're watching it slash listening on TikTok or other social sites, get your questions in. And I'll ask the guys and girls your question. So Grace is asked, is what's your opinion on Markham getting the points deduction? I think if they've not played the wages or anything like that, they've got to get points deduction. Everybody else does. Yeah. How many points uh, Labib? did they get deducted? Three points, Lee. Three. Oh, yeah, three lonely points. So we've climbed up to 13th. Uh, Labib? Yeah, definitely. Uh, for point seduction. Uh, crypto? Definitely up for that. I mean, we need every bit of help we can get if we're going to try and get anywhere close to playoffs. So, yeah, I'm lucky for them and, you know, lucky for others. Bubbles? Like I was just saying to her, she sat here with me now, actually. I said it's de 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 deserved it. That's what if they don't pay the wages, well, punish them. Yeah, uh, Chris. Ha 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 ha! He's just tough, tough in it. If they haven't paid it, nah, you're getting deducted, mate. So ha 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 ha! Done. <laughs> We've gone up uh, above you, and I love that. So, hello, playoffs. <laughs> I'm looking forward to being up there. So everybody else above us. Do the same thing. Look into them. Oh, yeah, right. Points deducted and we'll be up there. Jobs are good. So in an idea world, Chris, you want, like, basically everyone now from 12th upwards to get points deductions, don't you? Too right. <laughs> let them do it. Yeah. Let, let well, them get all points deductions. I want us to go up. So Wrexham, yours is coming next season. Uh, Lee? Happy days. They've exercised the teeth, haven't they? You know, maybe they didn't take enough points. Maybe they should have took six or 15, like they do with some clubs. Who and knows how they work? The next... <laughs> Anyone else notice it haven't been the best playing game since we lost trip to Wembley? Yeah, Grace. Uh, anyone else notice that City haven't been the best most games since we lost at Wembley? Yeah, it's probably the pain and agony. Uh, so the next bit I think is going to make Diane probably scream and shout and cry and it's probably going to make Chris just laugh his absolute socks off PG moments so everyone knows Carlisle have been relegated back to League Yay! 2 Super Harry Lewis in goal <laughs> you beauty <laughs> so I'm going to just I'm going to go along the thing so because I need to go for a minute. So, Diane, we'll just work our way across. What's your thoughts on Carlisle getting relegated? And also, Harry Lewis, Super Harry Lewis in goal, what's your thoughts? I think it's hilarious. What did you say? Looking forward to seeing us all in League One. Mm. Hello, League Two again, Harry. Been nice to see him back at Valley Parade, but hey ho. Hey, but we're really... I'll have two sexy man on pitch. So that'll be all right when we play them. Would you cheer him? Are you going to cheer him when he comes up to cop for for a second well, half? Well, no, because I'm saying main stand out and out, so I'll just I'll just quietly go. Oh, see ya. Uh, do you think I'll get booze? I'll have Sam Walker. I'll have Sam Walker instead. <laughs> I think it's a knocking bet him getting booze, mate. Does he know that? Lebeam, <laughs> what about yourself? What's your thoughts on Carlisle getting relegated? But also, I want to say thank you for. Oh my god, I'm rubbish at pronouncing names. Sion Glynn, thank you for your rose on Facebook, on uh, on TikTok. So, Lebeep, thoughts on Carlisle getting relegated and Super Harry Lewis in goal? 
Um, to, to, be, to be blunt, it doesn't really make any difference. I mean, I don't, I don't really like Carlisle, but there's another 90 league clubs I don't like either. Um, you know, I'm only interested in Bradford today, that's it. I, 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 do, I think we've had this kind of forced rivalry kind of nonsense. Um, my only, the only thing I'm miffed about is that they seem to have got the better of us over the last couple of seasons, over the last couple of encounters. Um, so it's, it's, it's don't don't really mean anything to me, if I'm honest. Well, that's um, a competitive side, if, isn't it? When Lewis comes back, um, I mean, as, as with most ex-players, I think it's always nice for them to get a bit of a welcome before the game. But during the ninety minutes, I hope we concede half a dozen goals. You know, I hope we actually batter them. Yeah, uh, crypto. I'm looking forward to seeing him get booed. <laughs> I think that's a knock. Yeah, the, <laughs> it'd be seeing reject chance what they're breaking out all, every two minutes, every time he touches ball, and it'd be you shit so and so every time yeah. he kicks the ball. Uh, Georgia, what about yourself? I was speaking to someone yesterday and they said, yeah, Carlisle's been promoted. It just looks like they've sold Harry Lewis to get Carlisle relegated. So I just start laughing. <laughs> Yeah, Mission uh, Agent Lewis, you've done fantastic, lad. Uh, Chris? I've stopped, I've stopped laughing now, mate. <laughs> Stop, come I'll on, tell right. You, I'll tell you one thing. Listen, listen to this. That is a celebratory strong bow. Just for, just for that moment there. It's going to be brilliant. And when we do go up... And Lewis wants to come back to play with, for us. I hope Sam just waves at him and goes, not a chance, pal. Not a chance. See ya. Yeah, I think only waving uh, Sam Walker could be doing if he's doing something else with his hands. Uh, Lee, Lee well, I've got, what's your thoughts? I've got a message for Crypto. And the new chant is, when Harry Lewis comes out onto the pitch, there's only one Sam Walker. There you go. And the coffee shop is closed. Yeah, I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can get that going. Definitely. <laughs> okay. And uh, anyone else? They got anything they want to chat about? I have. Um, you went to Peterborough game, didn't you? I did. At Wembley. Did were you anywhere close? To, I mean, I don't know if you saw it on Twitter, but. Um, a lot of Peterborough fans started fighting amongst themselves, didn't they? I just wondered yeah, if you'd seen we, it, if you were close to it or So I was, because uh, I know people have been slating me on social media for this, but I entered a competition after Bradford City. Actually got knocked out. Uh, I got Peterborough tickets. I sat in, uh, th oh, thanks for Carabao anyway for letting me win the competition. and Well, not letting me win, but I entered the competition, won tickets. Wembley, fantastic seats. See there. Uh... Peterborough's goal were good. The first goal, Wickham's goal were all right. Wickham, I think, should have got bad that day. But then the wind assisted goal, what I'm calling it, what a goal that was. He meant to cross it, it was good. And they were coming out of the ground, and I saw, him, I'll say it as it is, there was like a 13, 14 year old kid absolutely bawling their eyes out, Wickham fan. And I was just thinking, that's karma. I know it's bad to think, but that's karma. Uh, but it was a fantastic experience there at Wembley. I just wish Bradford were there. Uh, glad Wickham lost. Did, did, but, did you see the actual fighting amongst the Peterborough fans or inside no, the I ground? No, I didn't see it, mate. I only saw that on social media after because yeah, we, like, right. we were we were gone. We were in, in pink car park, whatever it was called, in car and gone. Uh, we didn't really want to just went there for a day out, really. It was good. Uh, so ben, sorry, that, that, that fighting that took place amongst the Peterborough fans that happened as one of the goals went in. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah I didn't see anything because they were like, halfway. They were knocking lumps out of each other, and then, like, all of a sudden, whoever filmed it, they turned, back, they turned the phone back to the pitch, and everyone started cheering. And then the people who were fighting just carried on fighting anyway. Yeah, there were quite a lot of incidents at the game, shall we say. They were like walking up to Wembley Way, there was someone getting carked out, thinking you might have been drunk, and then the, obviously fighting there. And then if we do, if we ever do get to Wembley, just to let you know, prices are absolutely shocking. 
I got some nachos and it were about six quid for them. Uh, four bottles of water for a tenner, but you get the lid taken off, so you can't actually take the lid in. But it were it were a fantastic game and a really experience and just hope Bradford City get there next season. Right, Ben Shackleton on TikTok. Score predictions. We've already done that, mate. I know you've just probably joined, but I think we're going to win 2 0. Sophie on TikTok. They're getting rid of I follow. Yep. I follow anyone who's joining now. Where have you been? Start off where we started at six. Where have you been? Uh, yeah. They get rid of I follow only in the UK only. Sky taking over. And basically, I follow us and carry on in the national format. Is anyone else that got anything we want to chat about, vent about, or speak about? Okay, take that silence as a nail. What's I'm going to go. <laughs> yep. And uh, Diane's favourite feature is what's on your plate. If you ever watch CBBS, you know what I'm on about. Twelve o'clock that night, them annoying kids come on. Uh, what's on your plate? So, Diane, what have you had for your tea or having for your tea? I have had lamb steak with roast potatoes for my tea tonight. Uh, Labib, I know you've been celebrating Eid, so happy Eid. Thank you. Uh, yeah. I hope you've had a good Eid. Yes, happy Eid. Yeah. Thank happy Eid. you. Yeah. Uh, did you have a good Eid, Labib? It was, yeah, yeah. I, went, I actually came up to Bradford to see family and then uh, spent, went over to Halifax to see some more family. So, yeah, it was a really nice day. Really good. And yeah. have, you, yeah. have you had uh, any big meals, nice meals now Eid's finished? Or Yeah, well, I've not had tea yet, but uh, lamb chops tonight. So, looking Ooh, forward yeah. to that. Okay. Crypto? And the lamb. I've um, not had tea yet. I haven't decided what I'm going to have. I'm not really that hungry at the moment. To be honest, so just chilling. Uh, Georgia, well, I did chicken nuggets and smiley faces and alpha bites for tea. Oh, nice. Any any sauces or anything? Well, little and likes ketchup. Mrs. said ketchup, but just, just, they could, we could just choose whatever sauce they want. That like, it was something quick and simple to cook. Okay, and Chris, I've just had it, mate. <coughs> Excuse me, minted lamb ribs. Oh, get in! We nice. all gnarly black stuff around it, and eat. Ooh, okay. oh, just just what the doctor ordered. Come here. <laughs> and last but not least, Mister Lee. Well, I'm reverting to childhood, and I'm going to have some fish finger sandwiches. Haddock, fish fingers, by the way. Any sauces? It will be a tomato sauce tonight, I think. Happy bit of red, days. Or oh, red sauce, as we say, Bradford. <laughs> All right, a bit of red sauce on your plate. Right. And everyone's favourite feature now, What uh, the weather forecast for tomorrow. So, the sun will rise at 30 minutes past six, and it will set at seven minutes past eight. PM tomorrow in Salford, Greater Manchester, it's going to be cloudy and possibly a bit of a bit of a rain, heavy rain between twelve and three, and then it's going to be light rain onwards. So hopefully, touch wood, the game will be on tomorrow. Has anybody got any last words before we disappear? Come on, sixty. Get it said. I was waiting got, for that. Oh, oh, waiting for who's going tomorrow. Will oh, Diane okay, be Dan. wearing her pink hat? Yeah, Diane, the nation wants to know, the world, are you wearing your pink hat tomorrow? No, because it's getting a bit warmer now. I did go to a club shop last week to see they would got a pink baseball cap, but they haven't. Actually, on clothing and apparel, I'm after a scarf, but it's a retro one, and I can't say one nowhere. Does anybody remember the Man United scarves? Can you remember the Bradford City version? Claret, thin yellow stripe, thin black, thin yellow, and claret band. No. Anybody know where to get hold of one? eBay. Tried. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. No, I'm saying one on there. I haven't looked on there. Uh, there's, a, there's a couple of guys that sell scarves near the ground. Have you, have you looked at what they've got? 
I can't go there, mate. I'm housebound. Yeah. All right, sorry. I yeah. would kill. I would kill to be able to go to a game. I would honestly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, Levi, you're saying you're going tomorrow? Uh, yeah. yeah. Are you seeing your son? Did you say? Yeah, my son lives yeah. in South Wales. So both going up to the game. Yeah. And he's standing or he's sitting tomorrow? Uh, standing. We've been through this. Yeah, standing. Always yeah. standing with it. Yeah, same uh, as me. It's only way to fly, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Crypto, are you, are you going to the game tomorrow? No, no, no. I'll be watching it on TV. Just on TV. Uh, Bubbles? I'll be there with my brother with my um, lovely football shirt with Bubbles on the back. And Yeah, uh, Chris? Well, I've got a 50th birthday party to go to. Starting oh, forget at 3 o'clock tomorrow. Forget that. Just come to and I, might, I might just bin that off and come back home here and watch um, <laughs> a bit of eye follow. Either that or you'll be sat in car listening to it on radio like I... Well, well, Pat, now, what, I'll, just, I'll just blatantly not go and stay here. You do, put TV you, on and get beers out. If anyone does see me out tomorrow, just come and have a chat. I'm always happy to have a chat at football. And sometimes if I chat to you through game, we score. So it's a bit lucky. Yeah, well, I'll come right. stand with you tomorrow then, Johnny, because we will score them, won't oh. we? Johnny, yeah, I'll have to pack. I'll you have to put my ear. pink helmet, pink cap. No, I'm not wearing my pink cap. No, but Johnny might be able to. He oh, go on, Diane. Diane. What, wear my pink cap? Yeah. yeah. You want me to? Right, all right. You've got to wear yeah. it. It's a lucky thing, <laughs> isn't it? It's Diane, a lucky thing. Come on. Diane, <laughs> yeah? bring your pink Bring your pink hat tomorrow, and if you don't wear it, I'll wear it, and we'll put we'll put a tweet out. Okay, then there you're you on. Go. There you go. <laughs> right, I'm going to mute everybody now. Right, I want to say thank you everybody for coming along today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've had a good laugh. Hope I've put a smile on your face. This has been the Salford vs Bradford preview, and it will be out in the next hour or so on podcast services. Just search Chickens on the Loose on podcast services. Also, if you like what you're hearing, uh, we've got small. I've uh, got YouTube uh, that is Chickens on the Loose. Twitter, give us a follow on Twitter. TikTok as well. If you're loving it, TikTok, you know what to do. For hit the follow button. Uh, we've also got a small Facebook page, Bradford City Chickens on the Loose, where we do golden goal every game just for fun, and occasionally we might do a prize. And also, we do Super Six every season. Wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Thank you for listening. And come on, city. Get three points tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your night.